Daniel Garcia looking to unseat the AEW International Champion, Orange Cassidy. The curb stomp has the champion flattened center of the ring here in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, look at that. Straight mockery right there. Hands in pocket. I like it. Garcia flipping everyone off. He's doing that funky, weird, uncomfortable, awkward dance. Something like that. Makes me uncomfortable watching that. We've seen Daniel Garcia pick apart Orange Cassidy over the course of his 20 defenses oh. of the AEW International Championship. Orange Cassidy suffered injuries to his knee, his lower back, to his hand, and Garcia has been looking to exploit all of those throughout the match, Taz. And he's been doing it. Garcia's been doing it, doing an excellent job. Now maybe a superplex here, possibly. Yeah. Regardless of the mugging to the fans and what he just did, he's wrestled a great match. You're right, Taz. He yeah, has. He really keeping that pressure on the champion. You saw Orange Cassidy, that right hand to the ribs, but immediately feeling the pain surge throughout his wrist and now opting to go for elbow strikes. He's in desperation mode, Orange Cassidy, and I don't blame him. He has to do that. Cassidy. Oh, the Garcia chopped down the right hand. Put that front face lock on. I'm telling you, he wants a superplex here. Oh, tippy top rope superplex. Super duperplex. Garcia. Oh, oh wow. the way top. He floats over, wow. hangs on. Oh, my goodness. And no, the stun dog millionaire. Orange the, Cassidy, he tried to tried Garcia, to turn the corner, but he, he couldn't did. get it all the way. Correct. Yeah, he could, because I think Garcia tried to sit out on it. But he got enough for it, Orange Cassidy did. Yeah, but let's, let's not also forget, he took a hell of a bump from the top. And now Cassidy coming through, looking for the DDT. Garcia counters Dragon Screw. Dragon Screw on the mark again, back to the injured knee. Talked about Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett looking to exploit the knee injury of Orange Cassidy. The last man to defeat Orange Cassidy was Jay Lethal. That was August 3rd of last year. Daniel Garcia looking to break one of the longest streaks in AEW history. Shots being exchanged by champion and challenger alike. Orange Cassidy looked at his fist because he can't throw a punch with that messed up hand. So he's got to throw that forearm shiver. That's smart, smart move by uh, Orange Cassidy. Nothing you could break your own hand again if you punch someone with it. Yeah, that orange punch for Orange Cassidy has felled so many opponents, but now opting for those elbow strikes, catching Garcia on the ear. Oh, that the kick to the kneecap. That is dirty. It's effective and legal. It will hyperextend your knee, and now stepping on the man's hand, that injured hand. Highly cerebral match by the challenger, Daniel Garcia. Garcia now stuffing the hands in the pockets. And Garcia, uh oh, oh boy. With the hands captured in the pockets. Oh, oh, fought him off the legs that time. Great momentum. Shifting. Orange Cassidy, the cover, and Garcia able to kick out. Taz usually on the beach break. Orange Cassidy, he hooks the head. He wasn't able to do it there because the hands were in the pockets. Correct, and that's not as effective, but it's enough to slow down Garcia and stop the arsenal. Yeah, he's going for it here, guys. He's ripping off that elbow pad. Can't do it, though, with that hand, man. His hand is banged up. He's we've, wondering himself. We've seen him land the orange punch with the injured hand before. It's much less effective, but it doesn't matter now. The point is moot. The drop kick to the knee sent the champion reeling. And I'll tell you what, I like Garcia's chances to win this international title here right now. I do, too. I, I, if, if, he, if he goes right back to the fight and stops looking at the fans, I'll tell you, that, that Orange Cassidy's not able to do much. Uh, yeah, those... he's playing the head games now with Orange Cassidy. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I don't know if he should be doing this here. Cassidy, he's been, he's been to this dance, dance before. He's had his opponents mock him like that. Right. Nothing new to him. You're right, Excalibur. Nothing new. And yeah. Cassidy puts on the brakes. Oh, Garcia! Great job. The wrist capture, just like... Boot, the flat of the boot across the jaw. Jumping pile driver. He stuck him like a lawn dart. Two, no. Great job by Garcia. If your opponent tells you to put on the brakes, hell, don't do it. Exactly. I agree. <laughs> oh, it's a cradle. Two and no. That was an impressive counter by Orange Cassidy. What a Ooh, shot there. He caught him there. Right hand sent Garcia spinning. And now the beach break again. Couldn't hook the head, but is it enough? No! Wow. Wow, great match, man. This is this is great competition. It could go either way here. Yep. 
This may be the closest we've seen Orange Cassidy to losing that international championship. And now Garcia steps through. Dragon Tamer, center of the ring. The pain on that lower back right now, because that's what it hit besides the knee. He's up on his elbows and his hands. Oh, but Garcia drags him oh, back towards center. Go. Now he's got a hook. Now he's got the arch on the back. Oh, he's got to tap out here. Oh, my God. He, oh, he, he's in a ton of pain. Gar Garcia wrenching all the way back. Orange Cassidy flat on his stomach. And when the referee touched Orange Cassidy's hand, I think he realized what jeopardy he was in. And oh, Orange Cassidy desperate. He used a fish hook to escape. And now look at this triangle attempt. The yeah. triangle with the right arm captured, Taz. Correct. Man, that's the right thing. Try to get to a vertical base here. Oh. He went for a punch, oh. but now nice counter. Wow. Garcia is wrestling a phenomenal match. Submission wrestling by Garcia. He's flat oh, casting right. out. He's got the cross face. Did he tap? No, he did not. Now Bryce right there. It was close. And, oh, now stomping on the hand. Oh, wow. my God. He's driving oh, his heel wow. onto it. Oh, we're going to get a new champ here. Wait a minute. Oh, Orange Cassidy reverses Cradle. And now Orange readjusts his grip. He's got Garcia locked tight, and he got him. My God, what a match. The winner of this match. And still AEW International Champion, Freshway Squeezed, Orange Cassidy. The looks on the champions and challengers' faces tell the entire story. Daniel Garcia knows if he didn't screw around, if he stopped sports entertaining, he would be the international champion. Meanwhile, Orange Cassidy, the look on his face says he barely, just barely, made it out as champion. Yeah, Orange Cassidy better take his international title and get out of the Motor City quick. He barely escaped. Well, seven days ago, we saw the explosive return of Hikaru Shida to Dynamite.